rush you, but my brother is in danger. Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. Uh, not at all. I, I... See this neck? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. But until reunited with her beloved Mink Stole, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved Mink Stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see Mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Uh, where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine, at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Well, uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining... Whatever it is that you're wearing, I shall await you at the bazaar. Hurry, my fans await! Looking for those? Even if it's true, so what? Yeah! 
something. <laughs> Hello, my dears. I hope you are holding on in these difficult times. You're healthy and safe, I trust. I am. Life over the past 77 years has tried to kill me time and again. I guess I'm immortal. <laughs> I live alone in a large house. My beloved wife, Valerie, passed away in 2018. Actually, I'm glad she died then, so that she didn't have to watch the planet go to hell. I have a son, Daniel, who lives with his wife and my three granddaughters in Berlin. But I haven't been able to contact them for months. I'm afraid that... that they... have turned. Though perhaps they have gone somewhere and simply have no means of communication. Anyway, if any of you are spending this Christmas alone, I have a large pantry still full of preserves made by my Valerie. And I'm a pretty good cook. Perhaps someone would like to keep me company. May the holy child's grace shine upon you. God, God bless.
Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop, Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. Wait, so you're not, you're working with them, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, 
What I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK Commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. But me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. Damien? Damien, Aiden here. Do you read me? Over. Did you find Cliff? Yeah, but he... Uh... Hey, bro. You were a huge help sending all those kids. You've made Dr. Waltz mighty happy. Walt? He's the boss here. Boss? Cliff? What? I, I don't understand. Yeah. They took me, but I joined the team right quick. Had to pretend they were gonna kill me to get you in line and following orders. You did... what? Don't be a baby about it. It was the only way to make you behave. How could you do this to me? To all those kids you made me drag in. To their deaths. Don't worry about it, bro. It was all for the greater good. Who's greater good? The bosses, of course. And just now, you served up the guy the boss wanted most. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy. Are you still there? Come in, Damien. Can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? No. Dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging.
Wait, 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 what's, what's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. And what's that all about? Beats me. Just started raving about something being all his fault. He was in a bad way. He's not answering his radio. He didn't look like he was in a talkative mood. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot.
Damien, stop or I jump! Wait, okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? About not finding out the hard way that you can't fly. <laughs> Maybe if I weren't such a weakling and a coward, I'd have jumped already. But you didn't. Something is holding you back. Fear. Fear has always held me back. It held me back from refusing those assholes after they took my brother. It held me back from telling those doomed guys to run like hell instead of sending them to their deaths. I won't be held back anymore, Aiden. I won't hold myself back. You ready for this, Aiden? Because if I stop holding myself back, I think I just might be able to fly after all. Check it out! No! After the Black Monday Massacre, most people lost their faith. So did I. But it only took a few years before some people started to form cults that adapted elements like old deities and pagan faiths. They even started performing sacrifices, thinking someone would send them rain. People need shackles. They want to be controlled, lied to. They want someone to tell them how to live, what to do, and what not to do. They prefer this to taking responsibility for their choices. Some researchers think religion is a linguistic virus that alters brain function and suppresses the ability for critical thinking. I repeated the same trite phrases for years, not thinking for a second about what I was actually saying. And what I was saying was mostly about instilling a feeling of guilt. It all dripped in evil, punishment, penance, disgusting, oppressive baggage pressing you down into the dirt but I tossed it off, as did thousands of others. The epidemic was a tragedy, but also a tremendous opportunity. An opportunity to fully free oneself from the bonds of religion, to stop believing in fairy tales and instead believe in yourself. That's what Francoise used to say, and I supported her vision. I joined her movement. Together, we can create a new community based on reason, mutual respect, empathy, and cooperation. One with room for everyone, including you. Great. <sighs> 